Hi, this is Steve Banbury, Head of Digital Learning and Innovation at Jester Buy and Founder of Virtual Teach. And here I'm taking a look at the amazing new Noda um, Virtual Reality Mind Mapping app on uh, the HTC Vive. So as you can see, both of the controllers um, have access to the same menu. I've got access to tools like Teleport and then I can use the controllers to create nodes. So uh, I can create nodes and I can position them anywhere in the 3D space, like that. Okay, so I can create multiple nodes, which as you can see at the moment are just tagged with the word new. I'll come back to that in a second. I can then choose the linking tool and literally draw a line between any of the nodes, um, like you would on a traditional uh, 2D mind map. I can also use the grip buttons on the, the Vive controller to reposition the nodes as you see here, uh, allowing me to, to create fully 3D uh, mind maps and data visualizations that don't necessarily flow just along one axis. By reaching the controller inside the information box above the node, as you can see I can uh, label the node, I can uh, insert some text or uh, tag it with an image. I can also resize it like this um, and let's just move this up okay so at this point I've added multiple nodes and as you can see I've recolored some of them let's just link all of these together uh, the, the links themselves can actually be edited as well so if I'll just show you quickly you can um, select the line um, you can choose the different line styles and you can choose between black and white lines so I can make it a white uh, dotted line instead of a, a solid black line if I wanted to. Um, I just wanted to uh, show you all of these are connected in the 3D space. So if I was to use the, the handle on this controller to grab this node, I can pull it out in any direction and the connectors will move with it in 3D. I'm going to start to tag some media to the nodes on the mind map. Um, you have to plan ahead a little bit with this because uh, in order to bring the images into Noda, you need to put them in advance uh, inside the Noda folder that is created inside my documents on your PC. Um, once they're in there though, it, it's fairly straightforward. So I've got a selection of images related to uh, augmented reality apps and virtual reality apps, which I'm going to pull in. Let's just create this. Uh, AR header here and I start to pull in some images. Okay, so I'm starting to pull in some images from that folder that I mentioned um, inside the Noda folder in my documents. Um, it's a really simple, straightforward process. It's a nice interface. Uh, the, um, the tablet screen that you can see in front of me, I can actually grab that with the handles and move that around if I want to reposition it as well. Um, so at this point, let's skip ahead and see something um, that's a little bit more finished. So here you can see I've brought in a lot of images. I've now actually repositioned them over to the left-hand side related to augmented reality. I've brought in a bunch of images related to virtual reality. And I'm gonna tag them as well. I've recolored some of the nodes. And I've now got something that's a bit more complete. And I'm still able to reposition everything and get it exactly where I want it. Something that I really like about this is as I move around inside the node, inside the space, if you look carefully, you'll see that the images, the content that I tag to the nodes rotates to, to match my perspective. So it will always face me wherever I stand. You see, I really like that touch.